I shoot it's fucking leaking. And a ceiling is gonna fall. I'm telling you now, cause that motherfucking shit is leaking and it's not gonna last much longer. So if you're hearing this dripping sound, nobody's taking a piss. At least I hope not. I think that smell is coming from the petroleum in the water, not necessarily an aroma of piss. But this place is dutty, so I can imagine that it wouldn't create cognitive distance to me if someone was taking a dirty ass piss upstairs. Nothing surprises me like that. Now you can say that Western civilization is synonymous with white civilization. So when you see Spanish guys like us ascending at a higher population and white guys going from 80% to 60% of population, then you can basically say that the identity of Western civilization is dying out. And when that main thing falls out, I mean, you can, Western civilization can still survive if Spanish people are gone or black people are gone. It'd be more inconvenient because you need the whole package or a large percentage. All of that has an authority to it. They all play their roles in the society. I play my role in society. You play your role. It's pretty simple, but you can just close your eyes and picture the United States without white people or with white people being just 20% of the population. Can you really call it part of Western civilization? Does it still have the same ideas, ideology, authority, roles, and things of that nature? Probably not. It's probably going to like have to be something else. And right now... The fall of Western civilization is going to take a nasty turn because it's coming from a collapse. And I want this to be slowed down as much as possible. If you can't slow it indefinitely, it's eventually going to have to happen. And it's not going to happen conveniently. It's not going to happen when we want it to. It's going to happen when it has to. And I can only imagine how tight I'm going to be when it actually fucking happens. Because I don't think I'll be prepared to, like, escape the bigger impacts. I think the bigger cities are going to take most of the heat, occupy. That was in New York. That was not too far from here. Probably a few miles downtown so yeah it's around wall street so it's like damn we're gonna take the fucking heat and aside from all that it really is fucked up i mean some i can imagine cultural marxists right now thinking that i have some sort of self-hatred because i want this society to still have whites as a strong majority, even though I'm not white. I'm not racist towards my own race. I don't hate my own race. I just understand that when you break the foundation, the infrastructure breaks down and anything within or relying on that infrastructure is going to be affected. We rely on that infrastructure. Everybody does. That's just the nature of Western society. It's built upon an infrastructure of a white majority. And when that falls apart, all the ideology that comes with it, the little things that they do, how they assign themselves as an authority to do certain things, usually blue collar fucks or people of that nature. When that dwindles away, 
What's gonna happen? Well, like I said before, the infrastructure breaks down. And I don't want to see all that intensity, all the damage that comes with that. So, this isn't something that comes from self-hatred. This is something that comes from, how am I going to handle what's going to happen a few years from now? How am I going to prepare for that? Because, it's going to happen. And that sucks. <sighs> that wasn't me fapping, that was just me doing this. I don't know why I got so defensive. I mean, it's something people do all the time. Anyway. Well, now that I'm back, I just have to like go 20 topics on top of 20 topics. There's so much shit I didn't get a chance to speak about. And, of course, I'm a thinker. I like to think. I like to speak. I like to say my mind. And when I'm not given that opportunity, I end up having like make an amalgamation of different ideas that were going through my fucking head. So like I said, a lot of the social issues are mostly out of fucking uh, industry. I think that society has become more institutionalized, which is ironic because it's a progressive view to think that institutions are eventually going to be replaced with fucking... Um, just normal voluntary human interaction. And marriage has become extremely institutionalized. Yet eventually shit like that's gonna like get fucked up. Cause industries are institutions. For example, let's say music. You wanna pick up a guitar and start playing it, you can do that. You wanna get a little money out of doing that, you can do it. You can just, like, toss a hat out. Or maybe you can, like, go in and open up a little place and say, yo, this is, um, $20 for some guitar lessons. How about that? And maybe it'll work. I don't know about the regulations. I don't know what you can or can't do with that kind of shit, but that's there. You can, like, you know, do that kind of shit. Or, or, you can industrialize, and you can have, like, fucking albums, studios, and these places where we spend a lot of money to mass-produce music and shit like that. Mass-produce other artists' works. And there's nothing wrong with industry. Industry is how we grow. How we move from, let's say, the agrarian societies that kept us civilized, that kept us, we're staying in one place, grow, go from generation to generation, to fucking uh, doing much more than that, to fucking prospering. And some say prosperity is a problem because human beings weren't meant to live that lifestyle. Well... You give and you take. I mean, sure, you're going to have a bunch of people that, because they have it too easy, they end up getting involved in a lot of stupid shit. That's why you got stuff like the Jersey Shore. Fucking niggas is, they don't, they don't go through any legit social issues. They don't go through the denigration of any fucking family life or... They don't suffer a lot, so they get involved in drama. Why are you fucking that girl? If you're seeing that girl, who cares? It's none of your fucking business. I mean, sure, that's something that'd be frowned upon. But to fucking cry over it, to go to that scenario, to, to see that they're doing something that's not right, and then you like, you want to go in because you want to start a fight. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Fucking... All the people... Niggas is always crying in Jersey Shore. They're spending a fucking summer in the worst place you can ever spend a summer on. I mean, I wouldn't go to Jersey Shore for the summer. I did it in 2005, and I didn't fucking like it. 
I would go to like South Beach or someplace like that. Southern California, well, not Southern California, somewhere in California where it's really good. I would go somewhere like that. Not fucking this dirty ass Jersey Shore. <laughs> you gotta say dirty ass. But now there's an industry for that. Industries rely on that shit. They rely on cheap tanning and stupid hairstyles. Gyms want you to work out and get crappy buff. That shit is not good buff. I, mean, I shouldn't be talking because I look like I just walked out of a third world country. But that isn't good buff. That isn't fucking handsome. His muscles look all swollen and shit. They don't look like it's toned in the right spots. They look all deformed buff. But there you go. You know, you're in, out fist bumping in some fucking club and shit, and you're picking up some of the weirdest looking girls out there. Like when Tumblr started out. It was like a bunch of hipsters and then and some tech geeks because you got to get the theme so some tech geeks are going to get popular. And then you got the Jersey Shore guys because people saw Tumblr on MTV. And now you're getting some weird like hardcore femme weirdos. Yeah, you're getting the weird feminists. I'm against the patriarchy. You can get off Tumblr. In fact, why am I on Tumblr? Tumblr is where I got the most followers, so that's kind of weird. I'm, like, sick of Tumblr. Like, the first three months I had Tumblr, I was making those political posts and shit, and I was actually fucking trying. Once, after those three months, I just stopped trying. I, like, would get into it, like, try to make text posts, but now I'm just, like, mindlessly reblogging. And it's the most popular thing I have. I mean, I don't get Tumblr, too, like, people, like, try to get an account for, like, a theme, what looks good for them. Why would you do that? Why would you get, like, a little blog, just, this looks interesting, this goes with my style of page, which is, like, hipster, or urban, or fucking abstract, soft grunge, grunge, goth. Like it, it's not an art form, it's not a collage, but people treat it like that. A collage of whatever artsy fartsy zeitgeist they're going through. Oh, swag, swipsters. They got that fucking obey cap and shit like that. It's all stupid. But that's where industry comes for. It's they're trying to sell you something. I think that's what this whole race issue is about, because when everything was like segregated, you could sell, you could advertise one group of musicians to black people and something similar but more Caucasianized to white guys. And now that everything's egalitarian, white guys are trying to act black and black guys are trying to act white. You see it all the fucking time. They're trying to act like something that they're not. And now that everything's going to eventually switch to blind xenophobia, white guys are going to try to act more like what they think white guys are. They don't even know how their race acts, and black guys are going to act more like what they think black guys act like, or are supposed to act like. So it's just going to be... It's just going to be a mess. That's what it always is. Because society is literally spiraling out of control, and you can apply the same thing to gender, too, or, like, the gay issue, LGBT. Gay guys are acting like what they think gay guys are supposed to be acting like. Or they basically try to act straight, and straight guys are acting more gay with this boy band shit. Seriously, that is not cute. I mean, those One Direction guys are cute, you're not. Harry Styles is cute, you're not. I'm cute, you're not. Well, that's hubris right there. Sorry, guys.